Good morning, everyone. Hello. You are tuned into twitch.tv slash bedsores, coming to you live from my sick couch in the Chronic Illness Autonomous Zone. I'm your host, Alyssa, here with my co-host and transcriptionist, Earl. Let's get some rest today. Welcome to Puzzly, a 1995 game by Metro, published by Bonpresto. So, we played the sequel to this game first, one of the joys of going reverse chronologically, because this game is fundamentally the same gameplay loop. There are fish, there are bubbled fish, you put them down from the top of the screen. If a fish touches the top of the screen and is in a group of three, you can collect them for your cat to eat. Puzzly 2 had this strange theming that was like caveman. The graphical quality is comparable. Having a game that looks this good in 1995 is like notable. I think the graphical quality will become clearer once we look at the developer's other titles. So let's do that right quick. So the developers are Metro Corporation. And around this time, you can see a lot of companies who get into the puzzle game as a kind of cash grab. People will mostly make one kind of a game and then they come in and are making a puzzle game spinoff just for their own benefit. But from the jump, these fuckers are dedicated. One of the first titles we see here is Dharma Dojo, a beloved game of one Liz Star. But we see all the like puzzle, 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 they did that too. So th these are developers who are devoted to the puzzle genre and are working with budget and also with some familiarity with the genre to create something like that. You might ask me, Alyssa, why was International Gaming Systems credited as both the publisher and developer of Puzzly 2? The answer is not known to me. No? So we can drop and swap. Yada here is to tell us when the water level is about to go down. How helpful that beast. Unfortunately, it's going to give us pieces that we don't need in the boat, but we don't have to clear them. That's very good. We get bonus points based on how high up we are. Sorry for the flashing. That's a lot to parse. You might see some graphical glitches that I think are main. These are bubbles that go away if they touch the top of the screen. Oh no, not those ones, not those ones, not the- Well, that's what happens when you fuck up. It's the light of the anglerfish convincing us to go on. Titty ass. Yes, very cool little combo that you did. The feeling of just waiting for your color to come, it sucks. That sunfish had some... Jiggle. Okay, now this should be a huge combo. get a combo indicator? Why not? What the hell is up with you, turtle boy? Different music track. Lovely. The animations in this game are so slow. As in, there's just a lot of downtime, which is like part of the fun. Combos are meant to be a little bit hypnagogic. Speaking of hypnagogia, be sure to pre-order the new album from Katie Day, entitled Never falter, hero girl. So the last stage felt like a kind of like random thing. And then you get alternating stages that are like designed to be cleared in a particular way. You are meant to figure out how to find the combo line. These sprites are fantastic. The little fishies are rendered each in loving detail and particular taste. You know? The fish are locked inside the fish chamber. And if we can just get inside the fish chamber, chamber, 
National Treasure style, we'll be able to accomplish everything we've ever dreamed of. I can take a guess at why IGS licensed Puzzly from Metro. The IGS PGM, the arcade board which IGS was making, their own version of the Neo Geo cartridge-based arcade system, runs on the same then-old processor that Metro used in their hardware from 1992. Interesting. Cool. That's very smart. Thank you, Wamba. So it's important to remember that this game is actually not time-based, except to place down one piece. If you get the right RNG, you can do whatever you want. But if you don't, uh, you're fucked six ways from Tuesday, not Sunday, because it's not that bad. Fucking buff starfish, very nice. This is not a block down game. This is not a Chimona. This isn't a block swap game. But we're playing it anyway. It ended up on our list. We played the sequel. I thought, why not play this one too? It feels good when the fish go in the boat. Wonder if that was intentional by the designers. We can never tell. Oh, each fish has an aggro sprite. Oh no, it's unique. Okay, what about you? They just get antsy. <laughs> you get scared. Kind of a humping motion from that one. Hold on, let me get this clean. I'm still in a stream fish puzzle. Seeing the background get revealed by the falling water? Gorgeous. What's with the monkeys? Why are they sunken battleships? The Spectre of War coats Puzzly 2. Among fishermen, the Taryo Ki, good catch flag, represents their hope for a good catch of fish. Today it is used as a decorative flag on vessels as well as for festivals and events. Oh, hell yeah. Cool. Thank you. The farrier. At one of the farms I used to work at was a World War II reenactor and had a Rising Sun flag sticker on his truck. He said it was just because he really liked Japanese history. He got evasive when I asked him which part! <laughs> a couple years later, I ended up working there again for a bit. He'd moved on and all the farm hands just remembered him as Steve the Fascist. <laughs> the only Steve I know is my new neighbor who gave me the sofa I am on. Hey Scrig, have you checked your couch for fascist propaganda? Delightful animations across the board. A monkey gives us the eight combo. Can I get a nice in chat? Note to that this spells 10. This is stage 10 and it spells 10. Very cute. What was the rationale for playing these games in reverse chronological order? It's a Marxist historical trait meant to sort of defamiliarize yourself with the ideas of linear progression of time. To try to appreciate history from a sort of slightly tilted perspective. It's just so tempting and easy to view everything as a teleology, right? Final thoughts on Puzzly. It's like Puzzly 2. This has been twitch.tv slash bedsores, coming to you live from my sick cat to the chronic illness autonomous zone. I've been your host Alyssa here with my co-host and transcriptionist Earl. Take care and your best. Oop, 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 oop. They fucked me. They fucked me with fish. Churma in clown getup voice. What is this? Some kind of ethical thing? Uncle Grandpa is a Cartoon Network cartoon that has Pizza Steve. Liss, Pizza Grandpa is from the Uncle Shades show. He's a walking slice of grandpa with pizza. The Iron Fish is Steve from the Grandpa Network Pizza. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Bad shit won't keep happening to me. Give a man a fish and he will Uncle Pizza Iron Grandma Gibbets Steve show. Characterologically, can any of you talk about the game? It's my birthday week. I like that there isn't bubbled fish yet. That is interesting. I was talking to Eris. It's a public fucking chat room, Juby.
Halo is that one Beyonce song that they turned into an anime. Uh-huh. Jimmy, I don't need to know that your dad tells you to wear Crocs at the beach. Thank you, bedsores. What are you talking about? Or dupes. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about the dupes. There's very little say about this game that we haven't already said about the sequel. You know, that's a fair point.